to this, but um, Josh talked about the fact that after you guys lost that game in the Big 12 tournament to Texas, um, that he just basically told you guys, hey, no big deal, we're letting this one go. Sounds like that was very similar to a lot of his messages, sort of not super high, not super low, but how did that <coughs> day impact you guys? Because clearly the last two weeks since then, you guys have been unbeatable, looked unbeatable. How did that impact where you guys are now? Well, uh, throughout this season, we've been through a lot of adversity. Um, I think in the Big 12 tournament, that was just another step that we uh, had to overcome as a team. Um, uh, in those games, uh, I knew we were good. I knew we were fine, and uh, it was just part of baseball. Uh, things like that slip, but uh, I think we learned from it and learned from a lot this season. I think that's what's uh, helped us in the long run and um, helped us get to where we're at now. You mentioned the adversity. You guys lost, what, four games in a row and walk-offs early in the game. Is there any point in that that you guys had any thought like, wait a second, what what alternate universe have we like, well, How does that impact you guys in those moments? Yeah, I mean, we don't really expect that to happen, you know. I don't even know if any of us have been walked off four times in our life. And uh, we, we had happened to us four times in a row, but um, at that point in the season, you know, it was so early. Uh, nobody was really worrying, and that's what Josh was saying: is just t continue to take it one game at a time. And we all knew that there's going to be adversity throughout the season, and we were actually lucky enough to deal with it early and uh, kind of move on from it. And we've uh, we've been in a lot of tight ball games, which I definitely think has helped us up to this point. And um, so yeah, it's worked out for sure. Tommy, you said in the post game at South Carolina it hadn't set in when you were asked about making it to Omaha. And the College World Series in the last couple of days has it set in and, and if it has how's it feel? Uh, you know Corey and I went golfing this morning and we kept talking about it and I don't think it's ha it hit us yet uh, just yet I think it will hit us as soon as we step on that field for the first time for the ceremony and stuff like that so uh, no it's it's, it's crazy um, you know you dreamt about this growing up we watch it on TV all the time, and knowing that we're uh, we're going, it's, it's it's crazy. It's awesome. Who had the better golf game this morning? Corey. <laughs> I was awful today. <laughs> John, you talked about dreaming about this growing up for all three of y'all, your Oklahoma kids, who are taking this team back to Omaha for the first time since '99, and uh, doing it with a team that has a lot of uh, Oklahoma kids on it. What does that mean? Uh, that's pretty special, uh, knowing that. Our coaches uh, believed in the kids that are around this area and uh, picked the best. And we thought, you know, we talk about it all the time. There's a lot of kids that come out of Oklahoma that are really good, and especially the last couple of years. And uh, knowing that we, you know, guys left to right with me, uh, we were roommates before, and you know, uh, our sophomore year, and knowing that we're doing it as seniors, it's it's pretty crazy, and uh, I just it makes it that much more special. Um, uh, you know, doing it with these guys. What about you and Corey and Connor? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, a lot of teams go out and uh, recruit all over the place. You know, they'll go get guys from California, and then they'll have another guy from New York or another guy from, you know, wherever. Uh, but we're all from, you know, we all played against each other in high school, and uh, that's kind of how we knew each other. That's kind of, you know, we're all familiar faces. And whenever we got here, we all had, uh, you know, pretty much one dream to play here and uh, now that we're here and you know we're all real good friends getting a college world series was kind of like you know it was kind of off in the distance and it was always something that we chased but it was you know it almost seemed like a dream to get there and then now that we're here it's like there's there's not a different group of guys I'd rather go there with I'm not saying you can't hit a home run there because the home runs have gone up a little bit <coughs> TD Ameritrade but a lot of people like your chances because the pitching and the way you play defense. Talk a little bit about playing in that ballpark, and especially Corey, you'll be in, in that big old outfield out there. Uh, maybe you too as well, Connor. Talk talk a little bit about TD Ameritrade and what you what you think about the ballpark. Yeah, whenever I was, I mean, I was there my freshman year, and I kind of got to experience that, which was really cool and stuff. And hitting BP there for the first time, you uh, you kind of realize how big of a park it is. Um, start scoring up some balls and you know they're hitting the warning track and you're just like wow you know he'll have no problem heading out but uh <laughs> he'll have no problem 
Um, yeah, I mean, but it's it's obviously a huge park, which I definitely feel like plays to our advantage with how we're pitching right now and how we're playing defense and uh, kind of clicking on all cylinders. It's it's uh, working for us, and it worked for us this postseason. I mean, you know, we we didn't trail, and that's because of that's because of the pitching staff, and that's that's where it starts. Um, it starts with a solid support, you know, from those starters, and then uh, guys out of the bullpen throwing really good too. And um, <clears throat> in terms of that that field, I definitely think it's going to help us for sure. So. Back to go to Omaha and to be able to accomplish that. What, what's the feeling about that? To be able to come back this year and do that. It's like I said, it's special. Um, like Corey said, we never, you know, it's always been, been a dream. We always talked about it, but knowing that, you know, we get on a flight to go there, uh, it's you know, it's crazy. And uh, I'm just lucky that we got a chance to go once. And I know Rob went four times. So, <laughs> but. Uh, no, it's it's awesome, and I uh, can't wait to get there. How do you shift from that mentality now, though, of you fulfilled your dream to now aiming at that next dream of winning it? I think it's, I think the pressure's off us. Honestly, I, I, we've talked about it, and uh, the pressure's off. Now we can just go enjoy and have some fun playing the game, and um, I don't think there's going to be any more pressure trying to you know win the whole thing because uh, anything can happen. Uh, especially in Omaha. Connor, what do you remember from your trip there, and what have you told your teammates about it? I mean, it's it's the peak of college baseball. You know, it's it's every college baseball player player's dream and what they work for every year. And um, when you get there, it's it's surreal. You know, like like Donnie said, I mean, it, it's not going to hit us until we get there, um, and we see you know twenty twenty five thousand fans in the stadium and um, cheering us on, and it's 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 going to be unbelievable. And I mean, whenever I was there, it's um, you step on that park for the first time, and all you you know you've seen it on TV, and you've heard about it, and you've heard about all the stories. But when you're actually there, it's it's something special, and uh, something you're obviously going to remember for the rest of your lives. So, Johnny, you played there your freshman year, didn't you? In that, that series with Nebraska and Creighton up to, uh, in Nebraska. Yeah, and uh, I think that was the time where the fences were really really far back. I think they moved it in a little bit, but uh, no, it's a great venue and a great field to play on. They keep it nice. Any of you guys, you open up with UC Santa Barbara, and, and there's some Cinderella's definitely in this, this field. They're one of them. I didn't find this out till this morning. They don't even have lights at their ballpark, and, and at their home ballpark. Kind of a group that, that plays with a chip on their shoulder, and they play with a pretty good chip at Louisville. Talk a little bit about your first opponent, what you know so far. Uh, we don't we don't really know a whole lot about them yet, other than what we've seen on TV. Um, they're obviously a special group. You know, it takes a lot to get to this point, and um, they they did it at uh, was it Louisville, wasn't it? Yeah, and um, you know Louisville's a really great program. We've watched them all year long, and for UCSB to go in there and do that and uh, beat them two games, it's uh, that's that's something special. And I mean, we're we're definitely not going to take them lightly. You know, we're going to come in as just another game. We're going to be prepared and uh, we're ready to go. So. I, I know their uh, their ace. I, he was my teammate this past summer, so he texted me right after we won. So uh, no, I know I know just him, pretty much. But uh, we'll get more information uh, the next day and leading up to it. Can you take any BP against him or anything during the summer? Yeah. No, I was just playing defense behind him. That's it. But uh, no, he's a great pitcher, and I, and I know about their club because he talked to me about it uh, in the summer and how well coached they are and everything. So. You know, just going in like uh, with the same mindset as always, um, and try to do our job. Tony, I asked you, did, did your dad ever talk to you a lot about playing his time playing time in Omaha? Did you ever have those discussions while you were growing up? Yeah, he uh, he talked uh, he talked a little bit about it uh, every now and then, and um, uh, there's actually film of him pitching against Indiana State when he threw uh, I think a shutout, um, and I think it was his senior year. But uh, no, he told me he, he pitched in all, all four World Series, and uh, he said the atmosphere is crazy. Uh, people are crazy up there, but uh, no, he said it's, it's a blast, and it's uh, where you want to be every year. Talk a little bit about uh, the defensive combination now up the middle with you and, and JR and how that's come together, and you guys, you seem to be, I mean, really comfortable with each other right now. Yeah, it's it's been fun playing with JR. JR's uh, he's good both ways on the on the defensive side and offensive side. He gets us going, 
the one hole, and uh, he's been making nothing but great plays all here. Uh, especially, there's a couple in the Big 12 tournament. Uh, you just you know look at look at him and just go wow. But uh, uh, no, he's a great player. He's been great for us all season, and it's uh, uh, it's a privilege to play against him and play uh, with him up the middle. So um, no, uh, it's been a lot of fun. I had to ask you about your newly acquired teammate, the little <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> He's made it into pictures, team pick. I mean, what is going on? Where'd you come from? What do you guys think of it? I don't know. Who knows about it? No, I like you, Travis. He's cool. <laughs> cool, yeah. Is he following you on Twitter? I, I don't think so. I think he's he's, he's a little too cool, cool for me. Yeah, I didn't get the follow back, but you know, he helps us. You know, helps us <laughs> score runs. So, I mean, that's cool. You me. you gotta ask uh, Dave Petrino and Jacob Chapel about that one. Uh, yeah, the rally bass. That's in our. We still uh, got the bass. Yeah, oh, still we might take that with us too, but uh, no. Just pull out all the stops. No, he doesn't score as many runs. <laughs> 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 He's in pretty good shape with the new guy. I think uh, I might yeah. stick with him. Yeah, good with the dinosaur. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Corey, when you came here as a freshman, obviously there was a log jam in the outfield. There wasn't really. You, you didn't know where you were going to fit in within the program. How satisfying is it now? To be a part of, of everything that's that this program has done since you first got here. I mean, yeah, it's 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 ultimately satisfying, especially to come this far. Um, but uh, you know, I I'm blessed to come here with such a log jam, and you know, when I was a freshman, because I didn't see it much playing time, obviously in the in the first two years, as you know, I may have liked. But I mean, those guys kind of taught you know everything. You know, I mean, I don't think that uh, all three of us would be nearly as good as leaders as it, to this team if. It wasn't for those guys, and uh, you know we owe them everything, to be honest, because uh, they they really set the program back to where it's supposed to start going, and uh, we just kind of kept the wheels keep turning. One of the things that could come out of the success you guys had this year is some renewed interest in building a new home for Cowboy baseball. Um, what would that mean if someday y'all get to look back and see this as a, a benchmark for that? I mean, it'd be awesome. You know, we we obviously we obviously love Alley P. Uh, that's our home right now. And uh, if that time comes where you know a new stadium is built, then we'll uh, we'll be more than happy to come back and uh, sit in the stands and hang out with everyone and you know watch that team. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it'd obviously be special. Um, but as of right now, uh, we work with what we have. We love what we love what we have. We have a great ground screw. We have you know the best surface we feel like in the nation to play on. And um, um, I mean that's that's really all we care about. You know, it's it's not about. I think Josh was saying it's not about what's outside the walls. You know, it's what's inside. And uh, yeah, so we love what we what we have, and uh, we take full advantage of it. So.